What's up guys, I'm Carl today with a brand new video. Today I'm going to be reviewing this 2014 BMW 335i M Sport. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. For sneak peeks, behind the scenes, short one reviews and much more. Remember to go follow my new Instagram and TikTok account, I promise you will not regret it. So let's move on to the front of this car. As you can see this car looks very aggressive on the front. You do have your black kidney grills. From factory this car does come with its chrome kidney grills. But this one has the black kidney grill and looks really aggressive especially with this beautiful Alpina white paint especially when it's all clean and shiny. You do not have any fake grills on this car. As you can see, they're all for function. They're not made for looks. And you also do have an air vent over here, which push air to the brakes to pull them down, which is very cool that the M Sports do this. If you opt out for a 335i Sport line, it will not have this bumper and it won't have all these specific grills to push air into the brakes and tires. This car does have front parking sensors and you can tow the car if something goes wrong. So let me show you how the lights look like on this car. This car does have LED lights and it does have spotlights. So this is how the normal daytime running lights look like. The park lights. The headlights. The brights. The spotlights, the indicators with the lights, and the indicators without the lights. So as you can see, those lights look very nice, especially BMW's LED angel eyes. These look very aggressive, especially with this line on top. It looks like an eyebrow being angry, like this car looks very angry coming down the highway. So let me move on to the specs of this car. So as you can see when I open up the bonnet on this car, BMW goes wild with their presentation. If you have watched my BMW X5M review, which I did a few days ago, you can see how much they went with the presentation on the bonnet, under the bonnet. And as you can see, this one also has its big presentation. It looks really nice with this engine cover and these six like lines to show it's an inline six engine. So talking about the inline six engine, this car is a three liter twin turbocharged inline six engine. 
This is the N55 engine from BMW. This car produces 306 brake horsepower or 225 kilowatts. This car produces 400 newton meters of torque, which is a pretty good number, considering this is a, a car that weighs 1.6 tons or 3,500 pounds. This car goes 0 to 100 clocks in 5 seconds, and this car's top speed is limited to 250 kilometers or 155 miles which is still pretty fast but this car can go a bit more if you take off that limiter this car is rear wheel drive like all other BMW sedans but there is an x-drive model in America and this car is pretty economical if you drive it on comfort mode or eco mode because on comfort mode it would average about 10 litres per kilometer on the city and on the highway it would average about 6 litres per kilometer but of course if you drive the car the way it should, like on sports mode, this car will go 13, 14 litres per hundred kilometers on the city and around 8 litres per hundred kilometers on the highway, which is still a pretty good number, even if you push the car to its limits. This car comes in two times transmission types, an 8-speed automatic and a 6-speed manual. This one is an 8-speed automatic. Now, this car finally reaches at $19,000 in America, 281,000 rand in South Africa and in Europe 16,000 euros so should you buy this car wait till the further part of your so you can see if this car is worth your hard earned money so this is the back of this BNI 335i M Sport and as you can see you do have your very nice good looking tinted windows at the back this is smash and grab tinted windows and this car has looked very different compared to the standard 335i Sport line because the biggest difference is the bumpers. These bumpers look very aggressive as the M Sport bumpers and you do have your piano black over here. It's not the matte plastic, this is proper piano black. So then talking about the body lines here, it is lots of body lines. This car would look very nice with the lip spoiler. I really like how very nice look like with lip spoilers as they're very nice sedans, they're very good looking sedans. You do have your twin exhausts over here, they are controlled with valves, but this car would sound like a proper 335i with an Acropovich exhaust or an aftermarket exhaust, as this exhaust is quiet compared to the 435i that I reviewed. This is still pretty loud if you're on sports mode, but it's not as loud as you'd expect it to be. So you do have your rear parking sensors and you do have your camera. Yes, this car does have a camera. So then, this is how the lights look like on this car. So it's the normal daytime running lights. The tail lights. The fog lights. The brake lights with the lights. The indicators with the lights. The indicators without the lights. The brake lights without the lights. And of course, the reverse lights. And as you can see, those lights look pretty nice. They are very BMW like, they're very traditional, as it looks a bit like the E90 these lights. They are pretty nice. But if you opt out for the LCI version, which is the newer version of the facelift, it does have its LED indicators and stuff. It is a bit more different compared to this one. This one has its hazards here, like the E90, and the LCI comes over here, and the reverse light is somewhere over here, which is a bit more different. So let's open up the boot of this 335i. And as you can see, it just pops right up like that. So right at the back, you can see that you do have your netting, which is to keep your luggage nice and stable. You do have storage. Everywhere you do have some more nets for your storage, you do have your triangle, and you do have your carpet here. There's no plastic to be found in this booth except over here. So BMI knows what a bridge is supposed to be. It's supposed to be big, and there's supposed to be some storage on the side for your more little things that you don't want to slide around. And you do have a more storage over there for your other stuff, like let's say for your tire repair kit, because this car does not have a spare wheel, or you can put your wheel span or jack over there 
But you do have your wheel spanner and jack right over here. As you can see, that's your tow hook. Your battery and your fuses are located on your boot over here. And yeah, it is a pretty nice place to locate that because there's not a lot of water that's going to go inside there. So I'm going to move on to the interior of this 335i. So this is the interior of this BMI 335i. And as you can see right off the bat when I talk, you can feel how well isolated and well built this cabin is. So this is the center console of this car. As you can see, you do have your upgraded iDrive screen over there with its new software. You do have your two air vents. You do have your central locking hazards and you do have your air vent control. Then you do have your radio switches and you do have your climate control switches. So this car does have dual temperature and dual air circulation, which is pretty cool. Not a lot of cars have this the dual air circulation. And the BMW 7 series has dual temperature, dual air circulation, and dual fan speed, which is also pretty cool. So then this is the other part of the center console over here. And as you can see, you do have a nice cigarette lighter, cup holder, some storage, your gear shifter, you do have your drivetrain modes, your iDrive control, you do have your leather handbrake and a nice armrest. So then what's inside the armrest is your iPod, like your thing that you plug in your iPod and you do have your aux jack and USB port. This is not a very big like armrest but it is a good amount. So then this car does have Bluetooth, aux, USB, CD and you can also listen to music on your iPod which is also pretty nice and I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys do not know or well, the owners of BNI 99% of owners do not know this but if you hover your finger on the button it shows you what you have assigned that specific button to so you don't need to press it to see you just hover your finger I never knew that I just found a YouTube video that was just reviewing the BNI 7 series and they showed me this feature and I was like Wow, how did I not know this? Why does BNI still keep it if most of its owners don't know? So I'm here to also tell you about it, something very cool. So and this is the, where the driver sits and as you can see the driver does have two, like, two analog dials, fuel gauge, temperature gauge and a nice digital looking screen. You do have your leather steering wheel with your paddle shifters, cruise control and buttons for your media and of course your M badging you cannot go wrong with M badging you do have your BMW stalks they are pretty nice they are very unique and you do have your automatic wipers so then this is the other part of the driver's side and as you can see the drive there's a center there's an air vent there is automatic light switch fog lights and spotlight switch and you can adjust the lighting of the interior like how bright you want it to be and when you go all the way down there you do get your button opening by pulling it twice so yeah, this is the door panel of this car and as you can see you do have your harmon card and sound system you do have your soft touch everywhere there is also an option for you to close your mirrors and then you do have some more storage down there with the cup holder and some more soft touch so then this is where the passenger sits and the passenger does have a nice trim over there and then your nice cubby hole and inside that cubby hole is nothing and it's unfortunate that BMI doesn't put lamps inside that cubby hole I'm talking about like a light where you take it out and then if let's say you have a problem like the car breaks down and you're in the side of the highway at night you just plug it out because it's charging in the cubby hole and then you just check or be an IE46 and E90 had that it was pretty nice I have to admit so then this is the seats of this car and it is fully electric it is a sport seat you do have your nice boxes over here and so you do have your electronic to go forward and backwards as you see forwards and backwards you can make this go forwards and backwards you can go higher and lower automatically and you do have your bolsters this to go in so let's say you're taking the car to a racetrack so you must not do this as you can see it's now busy hugging me so if you don't get enough hugs don't worry this BMW will sort you out with your hugs. 
So then this is up over here, as you can see, you do have your sunroof controls, your light controls, and these lights are pretty bright. They are amber lights, but it's not, it's not bad at all. And the headliner is pretty nice quality too. Let's talk about the quality of this car. It is soft touch everywhere. There's no hot plastic to be found except over here. That's the only part where you find hot plastic, but the rest is just soft touch as you can see. And something very cool with BMWs is they match your trim with the key of your car. So let's say if you tr if you opt out for the piano black trim, this will become like piano black over here, which is pretty nice. So I'm going to move on to the back of this car. So this is the back of this BMW 335i M Sport. And as you can see, I have a lot of room over here. So I am comfortable in the front and the back. As you can see, I do have a lot of room. I can stretch and I can go for a nice long trip in this car. This car is perfect to go to Durban or Cape Town with, especially through the nice mountain road, especially the Drakensberg. So then this is the center console of this car for the rear and as you can see the rear does have two AC vents and a nice cigarette lighter. And then this is the other part of the center console and as you can see it is an armrest with a nice cup holder. This armrest is pretty nice, it's a good size and also these cup holders are a good size. As you can see they pop right up. So then this is the the seat over here, as you can see, there is a nice netting over here and a nice pattern with the stitching on the seat. And then this is the door panel for the rear passengers. As you can see, you have your upgrade sound system with your one speaker up there, a very nice handle, some more soft touch, and then the nice storage over there. There's no, you can't fit a cup on this piece of storage over here, but it is pretty nice, especially with these nice speakers over here. So there, there is an option where you can have your curtains like X5M for this car but not a lot of people opted out for that specific model. It is pretty nice though. And then this is the, there's a nice light over here for the rear passengers. And yeah, it's pretty much it. They're, they're talking about the quality in the rear. The only bit of plastic is this bit over here and this bit over here on the center console but other than that it's pretty nice the carpet is very plush on this car even the detail geek says that beer knight does have one of the best carpets out there that he has detailed do you watch detail geek please leave him down, down in the comment section below he does make nice detailing videos and then there's just soft touch everywhere like over here there's a nice leather over here and some more soft touch over there this car does have beer nice synthetic leather this isn't the real leather but you can pay extra if you want the nice real leather for this car but neither less it is this quality of this leather is very nice won't even know it is leather red like the synthetic leather so I'm going to move on to the side of this car and give my young car with and my opinion on this car so now this is the side of this BNI 335i M Sport and as you can see it looks very nice if you forget about the front and the back, it kind of looks like the E93 series, which I really like because it does have the same handles. So right at the back, you can see that this car is very shiny. You have your very shiny Alpino white paint, which there's no orange peel. It is very good quality. And you do have your very shiny black over here. You do have your limo tint. You do have your piano black trim over here. And over here, there's no chrome or that matte rubber. This is all piano black, even on the mirror, which is very, very good looking and very sporty. So talking about the mirror, your inner cases are located on your mirror over here. And it does look very nice, this mirror. It's very unique and sporty. You do have your M badge over here, so you can recognize it's the M Sport. And this specific one does have its black, painted mags and those look beautiful so this is 19 inch low profile alloy mags and those look pretty nice it really does fill in the wheel arches of this car it looks pretty nice so then you do have BMW's iconic lines over here and 
and also over here since this is the M Sport it does have this side skirt which also looks pretty nice you do have your very nice fin and of course you do have your sun roof so yeah this, this is all that's on the side of this car if you do opt out for the keyless go package that this car does have and also this car does have light underneath its handles but this specific one doesn't there are many more options this car that this specific one does not have so my opinion on this car is I think it's the perfect daily if you want a quiet car then this car is also for you because you can just drive on comfort mode and this car completely becomes silent and becomes like a 320i with power but then if you do want to enjoy this car you just put on sports mode and this car becomes loud and very fun but if you are an enthusiast it's the perfect car for you because firstly this car is good quality it has good tech not a lot of tech also but it does have the right amount it's not like a tesla this car does have cheating potential because it's the n55 engine and this endless amount of power you can make out of this car and endless amount of modifications you can put on this car be it a spoiler an aftermarket air intake a chip you can name it this car can really have a lot of cheating potential so i'm gonna put on the young car on the screen so you can see the scores that i gave this car so for the daily scores i have this car 8 for futures 7 for comfort 7 for quality 9 for practicality and 8 for value which is a total of 39 out of 50 for the daily scores now for the weekend scores i gave this car 9 for styling 7 for acceleration 8 for handling 9 for fun factor and 9 for cool factor which brings a total of 42 out of 50 for the weekend scores. So a total on car score for the car is a well-deserved 81 out of 100. So if I say to this for our video, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, the subscribe button, like button, and turn on post case so you never miss an upcoming video like this. Do you like this car? What is your opinion on this car? Please let me know down in the comment section below because I would really love to know what you think of this car. I think it is an awesome car. So have a great day as always and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.